Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Iron Man Season 6 Challenge, unofficially alongside the official competitors. Uh, last episode was the successful completion of the Abandoned Factory. Woo! And we have our new marching orders, so to speak. The next mission, uh, which has to be done by, submitted by Wednesday night, <clears throat> is the Crusol Orbital Space Station here in Aestus. So I'll show you on my map. I've, I've went around, I came to Aestus. I basically threw everything into my CV that I possibly own that was worth taking and warp over here to Aestus. So I had, you can see, I went from Akua over to the trading outpost and at the trading outpost, I mined a bunch of Sathium and Pentaxid. Uh, got a nice chunk of Pentaxid and I'll show you that in a second here. And then uh, came down to Aestus and scoped out Aestus and went around the asteroid field and found different asteroids with um, minerals in them. So, so silicon, cobalt, sathium, and another sathium right, one we're right up against here. I also found the Crusald Orbital. Now, I got close enough to take a good look at it, <clears throat> and it appears to have no exterior uh, weaponry. So no turrets on it, which is kind of unusual, but it, as soon as I got close, like a whole crap load of space drones launched into the air. So my current CV is not going to be able to handle that. Uh, it can only handle one, maybe two at a time, but not a whole, not a handful of them, like, like what launched. So I'm going to have to either spawn in a better CV or take my chances with my SV and go kill them all and take out their spawning blocks. Well, <clears throat> I think because we're allowed to do this any way we want, what I decided to do is I had all this, these materials, um, I had, you know, just, I have tons of stuff right now. And I decided because I multi-tooled down all of those POIs that we, that we assaulted, including all the Titan parts, um, the abandoned factory, I completely multi-tooled that down to nothing. There's not even one block left of it. It does not exist anymore. And so all of that stuff, all of those parts, I threw it in my factory and I'll show you what is ready to be spawned in. Um, so we'll go into my factory. Well, it's not quite ready. It's not quite ready. So what it needs, so you can see that the sathium and iron requirements are met. The copper, plastic, growing plots, and wood, yeah, it has growing plots, I know. Okay, so this is, this is what I would classify as a, a flying hangar. But this, is, this, is, this evolved from a starter CV flying hangar concept, a small flying hangar, into a combat hangar. Yes, Geek Tech Zone combat hangar. So this is my death trap that I want to spawn in. And I put in all my hardened steel, all my combat steel blocks that I fabricated from all the plates that I multi-tooled, <clears throat> which knocked down the spawn, the total production time down to one second. So all I have to do is just meet these requirements here and we'll be able to instantly spawn this in in one second. The only problem is I don't have a platform to spawn it on. So, we're going to make a base inside this Sathium asteroid. And the reason why I decided to choose uh, a mineral asteroid is because they're the only ones that you can actually dig into. So, I'm going to put the core in there um, and get some blocks going. And then I'll probably seal that up with my uh, T2 drill. And then we'll have just, you know, a core encapsulated in this asteroid and then we'll build out a platform from there. So I think that's what we want to do right now. I got everything ready to go. I've got a base started ready to go. I got a whole 
ton of concrete blocks and what's left over of the hardened steel blocks and a little bit of combat steel. <clears throat> so this should get us plenty to create a big enough platform for this thing. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out. So I've got my jetpack on um, and so we're in a nice encased environment here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the SV to actually do this so I can get a lot closer and still be somewhat protected in case drones show up. I'll be able to like, you know, go out and, and defend this thing with my SV. So let's do that. Oh, we're going to, I don't want to get in like that. I want to get in like this and here, let's turn my light on. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm just being stupid now. Okay, let's uh, let's correct our angle, and we'll whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we're just about at the right angle. So let's go down. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I can. Oh, geez. Let's just jump in. There we go. <clears throat> no more diddly diddly daddling. I, don't know if that's actually a word, but okay. Turn this on. So I dug this hole with the CV drill. So we'll go into here and let's level off and we'll jump out. Open up the hatch. Come on. Get over there. Oh, open hatch. Open hatch. There we go. And okay, so I'm out. So I need to get back in the cockpit somehow so that I'm. But it says oxygenated. Okay. I guess I'm okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, the temperature's going down because my craft is warming up. Okay. So let's. Um, oh, darn. You know what I should have done? I should have figured out. Well, I drove straight into the hole. I think that is the direction of the planet and I want to kind of have all that going the right way. So let's tilt ourselves, we'll level off. We can just go down a bit, that doesn't matter. We're gonna spawn the drone or we're gonna try. Come on, spawn drone, no, okay. We'll just come up a bit. Oh, we're a little too much. So let's go down a smidge. And now can we spawn the drone? Come on, really? Really? <laughs> okay, so just up a little bit. And, and, no, we're cold again and not oxygenated. So just a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. So now can we spawn the drone? There we go. <clears throat> okay. So now we're protected uh, by the environment inside of our SV. Uh, so let's get this spawned in. Now, I'm not sure if, I could only find the Crusal orbital, so I'm not sure if there's a drone carrier. Um, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. So let's stick this somewhere. Because it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> we'll stick it there. And let's build out from there. So we've got our, we'll uh, do concrete blocks here. So let's get this just covered up with concrete for now. Now this is just temporary cover because I'm actually going to bury this probably with the, with the drill again. Uh, but what I want to do is, so I'm going to hit N to bring up my building tools and then I'm going to select my connect to base and hit N again to get rid of it. Now I should be able to put blocks. Oh, come on. Is it not going to let me put blocks where I want now? Really? 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 Oh, come on. 
I'm not that far. Okay, did it just not work? Did I not select it properly? Let's hit this again. N, connect to base. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I can't actually connect it to... I can't actually put these freeform out in the middle of nowhere like that. Okay, okay, well that's fine. We'll just create a runner out then, right? So let's do that. We'll, we'll, um, it's just gonna hit my SV, because if it hits my SV, it's gonna fling me. No, doesn't look like it will, okay. Okay. So now that we've got a block sticking out, now that we've got a block sticking out, we should be able to just connect, keep running this out, right? There's no, there's no structural integrity out in space, thank goodness. Okay, so, um, now I don't want to put, I don't want to put, uh, a generator and fuel and fire it up yet. I want to actually get this platform built first. So I think I think what I'd like to do is how should I do the platform? So <clears throat> hmm let's so I just run it straight out from here. Is it gonna we should have plenty of space if I do that. Okay. Okay. You know what though? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move the CV. Okay. So let's. Uh, you know what? I'm fine. I'll just I'll just fly out and move the CV. I've got my Eva, EVA, boost on my armor, so I can go out into space and and uh, weather the extreme cold so let's um, go into here we're gonna turn the engines on we're just gonna back up here and we'll actually raise this a bit here there now I should be fine Let's turn the power to the engines back off. That way the uh, turrets are still active, defending us. Okay, jump out and I'll just, uh... come on, <laughs> the elevator. Okay, let's head back over there and keep working on this. Okay, so, uh, hmm, will it let me, let me spawn? Yes, perfect, so my, my, that's actually not bad, just kind of sticking out there a little bit, good enough to spawn my drone and still, oh yeah, tab back in and out so that I can see my, my stats, my temperature stats and the radar. Okay, well, let's keep uh, adding to this. So, um, we'll go like this. We have a landing platform now for the SV if we need, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this out. quite far so let's do that keep extending it well not let's I think there's a block limit that you can place at any one given time don't quote me on that I'm not really an expert at at the construction 
um, physics and rules. Okay, well, that wasn't enough, so let's do this. And this. Okay, so now we've got the start of our platform. Uh, is that going to be wide enough? Probably not. No. No, it won't. So let's get this extended out. Whoa. Come on. Extend that out. Go up to there. Okay, and we'll just get that. So basically, I guess the width of the asteroids should be sufficient. Okay. So now we just want to extend this out as far as possible. Okay, let's do that. Keep working on this. So it only, like I was saying, it only lets me put so many blocks down at a at once. It maxes it out. It's okay. We can throw these down pretty quick. Let's see, I've almost eaten up half a stack. Oops, I went past. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, okay, that's starting to drive me nuts, the getting in and out of range. So let's move. Level off, and we'll just raise it up a little bit. Okay, and then I've got my jetpack on, okay, and oh, got to sink down a little bit, and we'll see if that'll let me spawn, yes it does, nice, nice, and double tab, get my radar back, make sure I'm not going to get shot up by some random stuff. I do have my CV turrets, protect me from anything that comes from the sides, anything coming from the bottom, I'm going to get popped, so... I gotta be careful. Always gotta be careful. Okay. Get this going here. Basically what do I what I want to accomplish today is get this platform built and uh, spawn in the C V. And then off camera, I'll make all the ammo and get it all prepared. And then next episode, we'll go, we'll take it over and over to the uh, Crisald and see what uh, what we can do about the uh, spawners on the outside. All the is that right? Yeah, all the uh, plasma drone spawners. We're going to need to sweep that clean of those and those those are like combat steel blocks with like triple the amount of hit points and so they take forever to kill uh okay it didn't allow me to do the whole thing that was annoying let's see okay got that laid down okay okay we're getting there getting this filled out Now I'm assuming this setting here is the max placeable block setting when you first create the instance or the your game. Uh, so on the default medium setting, I believe the that's set to true, and that is I think why I'm only allowed to place a maximum amount of blocks at any one given time. But that was the rules of the Iron Man. 
to have all those settings so that's what we're that's what we're playing with okay let's keep going with this I'll have to bring out another set of blocks pretty quick here Okay. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Why does it do that? Come on. Okay, we're almost done the first stack of blocks. We've got a decent sized platform going on so far. So it kind of gives you an indication on how large a platform you can get off one full stack of blocks. It's not that big. It requires a lot of freaking blocks to make these these large platforms for uh, large CV spawning. <clears throat> Not to say my CV is ginormous, um, but it's going to be require something a little bit bigger than this. So, and okay, we're out of blocks. Let's. Oops, didn't want a tilde. Tab. Get some more blocks going. Concrete. You know what? We can. Um, we're not going to need that there. We can deal with anything with just a large med kit right now if we need to that's fine okay and get this come on really I uh, wouldn't do the last roll that's fine that's fine. Okay. How are we doing on width there? Hmm. Hmm. It might be big enough. But I also want enough space to land my little CV. Huh. Huh. Let's, um... Let's just keep adding to this end here. Come on, no, come on. Okay, hopefully this should be enough. Oops. Okay, getting there. Come on. Camera's getting a little touchy now. It uh, Once you start getting further away from, once you start getting that signal degeneration, it's not as easy to, oh, and yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> okay, so let's, all right, let's, Let's actually take this thing and realistically we could probably just park it back up on top because I think that's going to be big enough. If it's not, we can just work, work with the uh, CV.
And that looks good enough. Okay. And we'll turn that off. We'll jump out. And get back in here. We'll get into our CV here and uh, get back in the saddle. Okay, so what we need is thirty six hundred and a bit Neo, twenty three hundred Arrestrium, twenty three hundred Zascosium, uh, twenty uh, fifteen hundred Cobalt, and three hundred and a bit Silicone. Okay, so let's. Let's see if we have the Neo. The Neo is the one that I think is going to be really tight here. So let's let's grab it from everywhere we can. Um, it's going to be in ingots. So yeah, I've got lots of ingots. Well, might as well grab the Arrestrium, the Zascosium, uh, Silicone, Cobalt. We don't need any copper, okay. Okay, we need more Neo. So let's check out the builder to see if I have Neo in here. I've got lots of cobalt, so we'll grab another thing of cobalt. We don't need the sath. Okay, there's, oh, good. Okay, that's gonna be really close. Let's see if we have any more in here. And we do. Nice. Okay, let's see if we got enough. It's 3,200. So, Neo. Boom. 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 It's not enough. Crap. Crap, that was all my Neo. Okay, so I'm going to need... I need 400 Neo, exactly. Okay. Uh, well, let's get that, that, and we just need a little bit more. Don't want to completely overdo it on the Arrestrium. It's kind of a pricey resource. So just a little bit over, that's fine. And same with, same with Zascosium. Okay, and we just need a smidge. Oops. Uh, yeah, a smidge. Yeah, let's just power feed it in. And okay. Uh, also, silicone. What do we need for silicone? Oh, not much. Okay, so let's throw that in there. And we'll just go like this. Okay. And we need fifteen hundred cobalt. Good enough. Okay. Okay. So we are shy 400 Neil. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Well, we got to go get that. And uh, let's take a look here. We can get Neo from. Aestus. Below us. Right here. Okay, so we don't need to warp anywhere. We just got to go find it. Okay. That's fine. So that's the next thing I got to do then is I'm going to take the SV down to Aestus and find Neo. Huh. Okay. Another thing I need to look out for is how much... Okay, I've got lots of magnesium. Okay, good. Good, because I want missiles. Okay. And...
And oh right, um, I need some pentaxid, and that is here. Yeah, so we mined we mined a pentaxid asteroid, which gave us close to fourteen hundred pentaxid, which is which is awesome. So I'll put that in the ammo because we actually need that for ammo, which is scary. We need it for warp and and ammo. <laughs> But we have enough for warp, and we're not going to be warping anywhere, I don't think. So that's fine. Let's um, put this stuff in the builder. And we've got a, these blocks will be for constructing more of the base. So, well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it off here. Um, if you like the episode, give me a like. So next episode, I should have pretty much the base built and the neo for the um cv to spawn that in and i'll have all the ammo i should have the ammo spun up and and completed also so that we can just like spawn in the cv throw the throw fuel and ammo in it and some oxygen and then we'll go check out the crusol and see if we can uh, knock down some of those uh some of those spawners on it to to eliminate all the uh, drone spawners well guys a uh, good start to the the platform i think it's going to be big enough and we'll find out once i get the neo okay guys uh if you want to find out when the next episode is published uh subscribe to the channel and activate your notifications for the channel and you'll get notified until then guys you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.